On any given weekend, a little over 100,000 visitors make the same trip down the South Luzon Expressway. Landscapes, en route glimpsed in between bungalows, inns and roadside stands, grow wider until they stretch to the horizon. Suddenly, the air is cool, brisk. There may even be a slight fog. You're in Tagaytay. There are many reasons to go. Take in lake views, enjoy a few of over 2,000 destinations, or do nothing. Perfectly fine in Tagaytay's signature laid-back atmosphere. Only 56 kilometers from Manila, this 66.15 square kilometer city on a ridge is as far as you can possibly get this close to the Philippines' urban centers. Tourism is Tagaytay's main industry, though not everyone's a visitor here. Yong and Virgilio Tatlonghari's residence sits in a quiet corner just a few minutes from the main road. Their reason for building a home, connections with nature, nurtured by a mild climate, averaging a cool 22.7 degrees Celsius year-round. Wala akong masabi. Una-una, it's two year. Mal malapit talaga sa Manila. Pag ako ay sinisipag magmaneho, it's less than one hour. Ang tao ko nga dito ay bundok sa loob ng syudad eh. Lahat ng gusto mong bilhin, mabibili mo rin dyan, katulad sa Manila. Pero kung gusto mo namang parang ikaw ay nasa bundok, babalik ka na naman dito sa bahay namin. Yan, maririnig mo lang yung mga ano ng manok, yung huni ng mga kulisa. Pero in reality, nasa city ka. Dahil nga dito yung, yung klema at katahimikan dito sa Tagaytay. All over, residences evoke a lifestyle that's flourished since the 70s. As varied as the architectural styles may be, there are recurring themes. This is a city that loves its outdoors. With an average of 3.6 square meters of park per person, nature is an integral part of Tagaytay life, one of its strongest points. Yang Tupas and her team are developing a leisure residential community carrying forward a rich tradition of alfresco living. Um, if you drive around, there's a lot of older houses in the area, vacation homes coming from an earlier time, where there's a lot of shared uh, spaces. You have large lanais, gardens and courtyards, balconies that give you a view of uh, the natural environment. There are different layers or different contours. It was so nice to design the project along these contours, respecting the lay of the land, uh, respecting what's there, and really trying to preserve what was natural. 65% so of these trees will be preserved on site. The approach is to embed a leisure residential community in a thriving, lush environment for the outdoor and indoor experience to always be connected so that people can enjoy the best uh, air, the best greenery that's really inherent here in Tagaytay. Rich soil, mild climate, Tagaytay owes to its natural abundance a dynamic food industry and culinary scene. Vine ripened, farmed traditionally, freshly harvested, over 200 establishments offer every kind of gastronomic experience, from market kiosks to garden cafes and fine destination restaurants. This is Calamunda, the home of Carlos and Silvia Miguel, welcoming guests to the true taste of Tagaytay, nourishment the pure flavors of slow cooking food close to the source. When people eat the way they eat when they're here, oh boy, that's for me the best. We've got all the fresh vegetables next to all the farms next to us. We grow our own herbs and that's what I use for my food. When we were living in Australia, our dream was to have a farm. When we found this piece of property, my husband said, you know, this is it. It's such a wonderful place to live. And then there's a kind of escape that's loved by those who come to know it. The kind that can't be hurried. From churches, retreat houses, to spas, the buzzword is wellness. And Kathy Turville and her family have dedicated their lives to its art. You drive into Tagaytay, you step into Tagaytay, you stay in Tagaytay, and wellness sort of creeps into you. You find yourself transported back in time in many ways. It has different personalities. During summer, it's hip and happening. But during the rainy season, it's romantic, it's cool, it's mystical, it's calming, very, very nice. There's a meditative aspect of Tagaytay. Stillness of nature, you rediscover your beauty and you rediscover the beauty of the world again. More than a respite from lowland heat and urban sprawl, Tagaytay's ability to transport visitors and residents alike to a slower, 
pure place and time sets it apart. And perhaps this is what keeps everyone coming back. The essence of Tagaytay is serenity, spirituality, nature, authenticity, connections, beauty, natural beauty. Families come, many times they don't want to go home. They love it here. Actually, bumibili sila ng property dito and then they use the property na, na maging weekend residence nila. Tagaytay is a place to be savored. It's a natural haven for your family story as each generation gets to add its own chapter. Stillness, nature, nourishment, home. Late in the afternoon on a beautiful day, this is what it's all about. Preserved as the enduring story of Tagaytay. <laughs>